Oh, g'day, mate. Welcome to the repair shop. Pepino is seeking timely help for a pocket-sized piece that's been in his family for over a hundred years. Pepino, tell me about this beautiful watch. So this was my grandfather's watch, which I inherited, and his name is Pepino. Uh, oh, right. Yes, yes, yes. I'm his namesake, and uh, I'm trying to fix it now for my son Pepino, so he can inherit it one day. Nono still around? No, he, he passed away many, many years ago. Uh, he actually passed away when my father was a, a child. My father actually remembers him using this watch. This was his daily watch. So uh, on my last trip to Italy, 11 years ago, this, my grandmother uh, gave it to me. Oh, you bought it back? Yes, yes, I, I bought it back. So she held on to it for all these years, and you know that, that was actually the last time that she was alive and got to see each other. So this holds a very special memory in our family because this is uh, you know, the only piece of memorabilia or, or item we have of my grandfather to remember him. We have got a, one of Australia's leading clock doctors in the repair shop. Oh, beautiful, in the right hand. Andrew, this is Pepino. How are you? So this is your grandfather's watch? Yeah. Do you know much about the watch itself? I, I know that it was a gift to my grandfather uh, from some friends of his uh, from America. So we'll have a little bit of a look inside. Let's find its click. So once we've pulled him to out position, Oh, that's not a good look. He's got some issues. So what we've got is a wheel within the train of, of wheels that's already been destroyed, and that becomes really tricky. This, this is not an easy task. <laughs> there is no doubt about that. What we will hopefully do, though, is, is make it possible. I'll leave it with you. Thank you very much, Peter. Thanks, Peter. Bye now. I'm hoping the watch can be restored to be able to work as it did back then, during the time it was, my grandfather had it. So I don't want it to be a brand new watch with no memories. I want it to be a watch with all the scratches, some of the dints, because that's part of the experiences the watch itself went through during the time it was with my grandfather. Uh, so that then one day I can then uh, pass that on down to my son uh, and he can pass it on to his children and continue the family tradition. Horologist Andrew knows Pepino's grandfather's 17 jewel pocket watch hasn't worked for decades and has some major problems. First thing we can see when we jump in here is we're missing some pieces. There's screws already missing in the plate that actually holds it together. That's a big concern. So let's take the nickel case thing apart. So let's have a little look. It really is fingers crossed here at the moment. I've got that real sense of fear here with Pepino's watch. So, so far, so good. We've got um, everything as it should be. Oh, actually, no. No, that's not good. We know Pepino's watch is a 17 jewel watch. That means each one of those is a little bearing. It's a little ruby jewel that's in the watch. The problem here is that the ones we can see on this side of the dial are all smashed. They're all gone. And every single solitary one of them is crumbled into pieces. So that means we have quite an exercise to be able to put this back together again. Okay, we just flip it over to the other side. And we'll take the dial off as well. So I am very much hoping that we start to get some better news. If we thought a few smashed jewels was a problem, the fact that we actually only have two of the four wheels left in the watch. The other ones are gone. All we have is a fourth wheel and a center wheel sitting in the middle of the watch, and that's all we've got. This watch is one of 1,000, and there are no spare parts available for it. So it's going to be easy to make a few screws. That was no problem at all. Make a few jewels, it was a little bit harder. Make a few wheels, uh, that's a whole different ball game. Our next step is to look for the pieces around the world for a watch that's just over 110 years old. It's a very small needle in a very big haystack, and that is going to be a real issue. My grandfather's watch represents a very important part of my family history because it's literally the only family heirloom I have in relation to him. So um, yeah, to have that in working order and working condition, for me, it's just a, you know, it'll be as if a piece of him is still alive and, and still present within the, the family environment. Ciao, Pepino. Come on, yeah, Ben. Take a seat, mate. Good to see you. Likewise. How have you been? Not bad. Not bad. Uh, excited to see the finished product. Has it been a bit of work going to that finished product? Yeah. Are you ready? Yes, please. Can't Let's wait go, mate. Wow. That's amazing. The glass is all clean. You can actually see through it now. 
it's amazing that the watch works, but to, to, to be able to give that moment to yeah. my son, that is the best thing that's come from this. To little Peppino, when you grow up, this will become yours. I hope you enjoy this as much as, as I will in the years to come. And Papa loves you very much.